The Study and Research Center of Ayatollah Shirazi in the Holy City of Karbala has held a conference with the title of Freedom and Nonviolence in Late Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi View as a part of its monthly discussions. In this conference, which hosted different figures, university teachers, political, social, and human rights activists, the experts exchanged opinion on the discussion topic. The Imam Shirazi Center for Studies has held a new session of its occasional meetings. The topic of discussion was the Imam Shirazi point of view of freedom of expression through the nonviolence acts. The academic researcher and study center has highly lauded this idea, which can contribute greatly to the Iraq's and the world's progress. In the name of Allah, the compassion of the merciful. Imam Shirazi Center for Studies has held a meeting with the topic of Imam Shirazi point of view on freedom of expression through the Nonviolence Acts. This issue was discussed at a critical time where the Iraqi capital, Baghdad, has witnessed a surge in protest demanding serious reforms in the Iraqi government. These demands include reforms in economic sector, judiciary system, and fighting corruption at all levels. Using freedom of expression through nonviolence approaches at social and political levels is an important step towards having a united and consistent society. The life of the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad al-Shirazi is full of blessings for us. The researches and studies conducted about this topic are important and interesting ones. The topic is directly related to millions of people around the world, especially the people of Iraq. I choose this topic myself because it's very important to have expressions of ideas and opinions through nonviolent ways. One of the ways to solve the Iraq's problem is to use the nonviolence approach in expressing our ideas and opinions. Many different opinions and questions were exchanged during this meeting, all with the aim of clarifying this issue of expressing our opinions through nonviolence approaches. Understanding this point will get the society to a desirable state of understanding.